The Model 437 Vanguard is one of the latest cutting-edge innovations from Scaled Composites, a subsidiary of Northrop Grumman, and it has been turning heads in aerospace circles. It's been designed with a very specific role in mind, to be a cost-effective, versatile aircraft that can function either as a piloted jet or as an autonomous drone. Building on the success of its predecessor, the Model 401, which first flew in 2017, the Vanguard takes the foundation of low-cost manufacturing and advanced technology to the next level. The Model 401 was already a significant breakthrough, showcasing flexibility and innovation, but the Model 437 pushes these advancements even further. It also fits into a growing trend in military aviation toward attritable drones, a term used to describe drones that are affordable enough to be expendable in high-risk combat situations. The Vanguard reached a key milestone when it made its maiden flight on August 29, 2024, from Mojave Air and Spaceport in California, marking the culmination of years of intensive development on this highly advanced aircraft. Let's now take a look at the features of the Vanguard. It combines sleek, stealthy aesthetics with high-performance functionality. According to data from Scaled Composites, the aircraft features a 41-foot wingspan and is 41 feet long, with a gross takeoff weight of 10,000 pounds. Its bubble canopy provides excellent visibility for the pilot, while the trapezoidal fuselage enhances its aerodynamic profile. The midset swept wings and V-tail deliver both speed and agility. Additionally, the long dorsal air intake positioned just behind the cockpit reduces drag and contributes to the plane's stealthy performance. Powered by a Pratt & Whitney PW535 engine that generates 3,400 pounds of thrust, this aircraft boasts long-range capabilities covering up to 3,000 nautical miles. Its six-hour endurance ensures ample time for extended missions, whether for surveillance or combat, without the need for frequent refueling. When it comes to armament, the Vanguard is highly versatile. It can carry up to 2,000 pounds of payload across various configurations, including an internal weapons bay capable of housing two M120 missiles. Beyond weaponry, the aircraft can also accommodate reconnaissance equipment or advanced sensor systems like side-looking radar for imaging, making it adaptable to a wide range of missions. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. While the Vanguard's design emphasizes cutting-edge features like stealth and versatility, its true innovation lies in its ability to function in both autonomous and piloted modes, an important shift in its development. Northrop Grumman first introduced the Model 437 as a concept in 2021, promoting it as a potential solution for the Air Force's Loyal Wingman program, now known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA. The idea behind this program is to have autonomous drones that can support piloted aircraft, taking on dangerous or routine missions. These drones are designed to be more cost-effective and expendable, offering a strategic advantage in combat scenarios. But, while the Vanguard seems to fit perfectly within the CCA framework, Northrop Grumman hasn't officially confirmed whether the Model 437 is being developed specifically for this program. So, if it was conceptualized as an autonomous drone, why the cockpit? The company explained that adding a cockpit was meant to speed up demonstrations and flight testing. With a pilot on board, the aircraft can fly over populated areas without requiring special permits from the Federal Aviation Administration. It also isn't restricted to test ranges designed for uncrewed aircraft, making it far more flexible for testing purposes. Now, can the manned variant be used beyond testing? Well, it seems possible. While the Vanguard was designed for fully autonomous operations, the piloted version opens up new possibilities. Having a human in the cockpit could be an advantage in complex or evolving combat situations, where real-time decision-making is crucial. For now, though, this remains speculative. Northrop Grumman has not officially released any details about using the manned version beyond its current testing role. The Vanguard is also a standout example of innovation, thanks to its groundbreaking digital engineering and advanced manufacturing techniques. Northrop Grumman developed it using its Digital Pathfinder initiative, a process that has transformed traditional aircraft design. Normally, aircraft development involves numerous phases of physical prototypes and extensive testing, both of which are time-consuming and expensive. In contrast, the Digital Pathfinder initiative leverages advanced digital engineering tools to streamline the process, significantly reducing both development time and costs. 
This approach allowed Northrop Grumman to take the aircraft from concept to first flight far more quickly than conventional methods would allow. This fully connected digital ecosystem allowed engineers, designers, and manufacturers to collaborate seamlessly, integrating design, analysis, and manufacturing into a single framework. Instead of relying on physical prototypes, high-fidelity digital models were used to simulate and test components in a virtual environment, eliminating much of the trial and error typically seen in traditional development. This approach dramatically minimized engineering rework, cutting it from the industry average of 15 to 20 percent to under 1 percent. The use of digital twins, virtual replicas of physical components, further enhanced development by allowing simulations of how parts would perform under various conditions before they were even built. The Digital Pathfinder Initiative also introduced innovative manufacturing techniques that enhanced the efficiency and precision of the aircraft's production. A standout advancement was the use of plasma arc energy deposition to create titanium structural components, such as a structural bracket. This additive manufacturing method allowed for the production of high-strength parts with exceptional precision and minimal waste, marking the first time this technique was used in the defense industry. The process, similar to 3D printing, involves layering material by using plasma arc energy to melt and deposit titanium. This results in lighter, stronger components compared to traditional methods that often involve machining from larger blocks, which wastes material. It also shortens production time, enabling faster, more accurate creation of critical parts. So, we can say that the Model 437 Vanguard represents a significant leap forward in both design and production methods for modern military aircraft. By combining advanced digital engineering, flexible manned and unmanned capabilities, and innovative manufacturing techniques, Northrop Grumman has created an aircraft that is not only versatile, but also cost-effective and future-focused. We're all curious to see how the balance between manned and autonomous systems will shape the battlefield of tomorrow.